Hello everyone, I'm Tyler and welcome to another tutorial in World Creator 2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your terrain to the Unity editor using the Unity Live Link plugin. This Unity plugin is a one-click process to streamlining the export so you don't have to worry about each element of the export. It just works effortlessly for you. Unless, of course, you just want to go the manual route and export everything individually, you most certainly can do that. So the first thing that we're going to make sure that we have is obviously the Unity plugin. And to do that, we need to go to the World Creator website right here. And then we're going to need to go to the top right of your browser where it says sign in. This is going to be the customer portal. You just click sign in, type in your email and address and sign in again. And here in the customer portal right here under the center, we have the bridge tool and we're going to click and download the Unity bridge tool here. Once downloaded, you don't have to do anything just yet, but let's go ahead and bring up our Unity Hub here. I'm going to select New so that we can create a new project. I'm going to specify for now it just to be a 3D project, and I'm going to just rename this the Unity Plugin Test. And now that we have the Unity Editor open, what we have to do now is install the plugin that we just downloaded from the World Creator website. To do that, we need to go up here to the top left under Assets here, click that, and then we're going to scroll down and go to Import Package and Custom Package. And then we're going to go to where we've downloaded our package. As you can see here, we're going to click the Unity Bridge package that we downloaded, select Open. It's going to run some stuff. And then now we've got this package import dialog box that pops up. This is basically everything that is broken down into the zip file that you downloaded. You don't have to do anything here. All you have to do is go down to the bottom right of this little window and select Import. And it has completely imported now. And you can see here under our assets here, we've got the brand new World Creator Unity Bridge folder. We don't have to do anything just now. So let's pop into World Creator 2 and get a terrain that we can export. And here in World Creator 2, I'm actually going to load one of our sample terrains that we have to share for you guys so that you could follow along if you want to. And to get that back in your customer portal here, if we just scroll down, here's a list of sample terrains that you're more than welcome to use. But I'm just going to select this custom terrain shape element here. We just click on that download. Then in World Creator 2, we're going to go up to the load project icon. And right here in my folder structure, I've got the custom terrain shape that we've downloaded. Select that and open. Okay, so once you have the terrain imported, all you have to do now is really just export it through the bridge tool. But before we do that, I want to just add a few trees in here so that we can really show this um, object export here. I'm gonna hit this tree icon up here, go to objects, add new layer, and then we're going to add new objects and let's just pick this dead tree here and then let's go to add and close. But now for this dead tree, as you can see, it has populated across the entire terrain, but I want to specify it to an area on my areas tab here. I have specified an area that I already want the trees to be painted for. So if we go back to our tree here and then go to the area notation here where it says none, select that, and I'm going to select the dead trees area that I have painted. And now only the trees are going to appear up here. But there's not a whole lot of trees here, so I'm just gonna scroll down here on my properties panel, and at the very bottom where it says density, let's just increase this pretty high. Okay, so at this point, once you have the terrain exactly the how, how you want it, all you have to do is go here to the left toolbar, and right here there is an icon that says Bridge Export. Now this is a universal bridge export that works for uh, Unity and Unreal as well, but we're going to utilize it just for Unity, obviously. So let's go ahead and click Bridge Export, and it's gonna run through all of the maps and objects and details that is currently visible within our view browser here, and it's going to export that to your documents folder. And keep in mind, when you use the bridge export, it's always going to use the world creator folder that is automatically generated in your documents folder. So once we've navigated to the world creator folder, we go to bridge and then we go to the project that is titled this. So it's the custom terrain shape project. We double click that and you can see several assets here that were generated by the bridge tool. We don't have to worry about this. I'm just showing you where it's located for whenever you um, import it into Unity. And it's this file right here, this .xml file that you're really going to be paying attention to in Unity. So let's go ahead and do that now. 
So here in Unity, what we have to do now to get our asset in is we need to go up here to the Window tab, select Window tab, and then now scroll down to where it says World Creator to Unity, click that, and a window is going to pop up with all the settings that you need to import. But all we need to do is here at the very top of this window, you can see there's a button that says Select Bridge XML File. Now we already know where that file is, and remember it's in the Documents folder. So let's select that. Then again in the World Creator folder, we go to Bridge, the project name, and all we need is the very first XML file here that we see under our project folder. Click that and click open. And we don't have to do anything really with these settings unless you want to. This is just some default settings by the name that you want to name the import. We can enable or disable any objects such as trees, grass, things like that that we want to import in case we just want to import the terrain. You can even specify um, the split threshold. So say that this terrain is 4K as it is in this um, scenario. If we want to split that terrain something and to be smaller like each 2K, you just drag the slider down and now the terrain will be split into multiple portions for uh, terrain streaming, which could be pretty helpful if you have a very large terrain. But we're not going to change anything here. We just want to accept the base default settings. And since we've already got the XML file imported, all we have to do now is go down to the very bottom and select synchronize. So let's go ahead and click this. And now you can see here on the left of the projects folder, we have the world creator terrain. So that means that this terrain has been imported. So we can close this window now. And normally the terrain would pop up directly, but in this case, if you don't see the terrain or your objects automatically pop up, that's okay. You just go to your hierarchy window here, open up the world creator terrain and double click on the world creator object container. And as you can see here, if I scroll out, our terrain has been fully imported exactly the way it looks like in World Creator 2. And if we zoom in right here at the top just a little bit, we're gonna start to see our trees populating inside, and here they are exactly where we imported them as. Now, one thing that this doesn't come with is the lighting in Unity is a little bit different than it is in World Creator 2. So obviously you need to adjust your lighting as you see fit in any of the uh, lighting settings here in the inspector window to the right. Same thing goes for changing any of the settings for our terrain itself. If we select the terrain object in our scene here and to the right inspector window, we have our terrain right here. If we click this little settings wheel icon here, we can adjust several of the settings that comes standard with our exported terrain here. I'm not going to go through any of these today, but this just gives, gives you an idea of the process to taking your terrain from World Creator 2. And as you can see, we just one clicked process this into Unity. So it's a very fast, very simple process that gets you started in Unity right away. Well, there you have it, everyone, a fast, simple way to export from World Creator 2 to Unity using the Unity Bridge plugin. For more information or help with the plugin, please feel free to visit our Discord server linked in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.